Hello everyone. I welcome you all to this particular session of clinical sign of the day. I am myself Dr. Rajesh Gubba and the general medicine educator on an academy. So before starting the session, let me just give you the updates from Unacademy. Unacademy has started with two important batch courses. One is FMG batch course that is mainly for the students appearing for the FMG exam in the month of December. And another important batch course is Target Next 2022. So in order to get subscribed to these courses, you can use my code that is LiveMed, wherein you will get an additional 10% discount on your subscriptions. And Unacademy also has come up with very amazing offer and it's a limited period offer wherein if you take 24 months subscription, you'll get four months subscription free. And if you take 12 months subscription, you will get two months subscriptions free. So in order to get this subscriptions, you can use my code that is LiveMed, wherein you will get an additional 10% discount on your subscriptions. So having said this, let me come up with the clinical sign of the day. So the question is, which of the following is not an adverse effect of the drug used in this disorder? Right, so first let me just show you what exactly is that clinical sign. So this is the clinical sign you are observing in a newborn baby. Yes, so you can observe those movements. So the options are respiratory insufficiency, suicidal tendencies, decreased level of consciousness, Steven Johnson syndrome. So first of all, see there are totally three steps in this question. First you should diagnose what is the disorder and you should know what is the drug of choice in that particular disorder. Then followed by that you should know what are all the various adverse effects in that particular drug. So what is the clinical diagnosis of this particular condition? The clinical diagnosis is the subtle seizures. See, most common cause of seizures in a newborn individual, it is the subtle seizures. Now, what is the most common cause for subtle seizures? Most common cause for subtle seizures is hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. And apart from hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy, the other causes, they include hypoglycemia and as well as the hypocalcemia. These are the other causes for the development of this subtle seizures. But most common cause is hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. Now you should know what is the drug of choice. See, before going ahead with the drug of choice, what are the common examples of the subtle seizures? See, these are the common examples of the subtle seizures. One is ocular movements orofacial lingual movements, limb movements and then autonomic phenomenon. So you take the ocular movements. Ocular movements is that where the newborn will have a tonic horizontal deviation of the eyes. Whereas orofacial lingual movements where the individual will have chewing, tongue thrusting and lip smacking movements. Then limb movements. See what the clinical sign which I have shown you there that is in the form of the boxing jabs. And finally, the autonomic phenomenon that will be either in the form of tachycardia or bradycardia. So these are the common examples of the subtle seizures. And you should know what is the drug of choice. Drug of choice for subtle seizures in newborn, it is phenobarbitone. Now you should know what is of these particular phenobarbitone. That includes sedation and as well as the hypnosis. And central nervous system effects like dizziness, nystagmus and ataxia. Overdose may also lead to pulmonary edema, acute renal failure. There can be also respiratory insufficiency and then the individual can also land up in shock. And in extreme cases, they may die as well. So these are the adverse effects of the phenobarbitone. So coming back to this question, which of the following is not the adverse effect of the drug used in this condition? It is Steven Johnson syndrome. Respiratory insufficiency you will have, suicidal tendencies you will have, Decreased level of consciousness also will be there in this condition. Now, the question is, what are the anti-epileptic drugs which will cause the Steven Johnson syndrome? So, what is the homework for the day now? The anti-epileptic drugs causing Steven Johnson syndrome, right? Next. So, yes, 
So winding up this particular session, let me tell you, please subscribe to our channel and get more updates and comment on our video and let us know what exactly you feel and do show us some love by liking and sharing our videos. Thank you very much and see you again in the next session.